This is my garden. We're just trying to take an apple stump out of the ground. We cut it off about a year or so ago and it kept on shooting. So now it's time to get it out. So we've got time for that. Um, at the moment we have a croquet court set up. So during isolation, we try to have a game of croquet each day. Been busy trying to get some weeds out from amongst the Mondo grass. The citrus grove at the moment has lots of fruit on it. So the lemon has fruit. The little lime behind is growing well and it's got some fruit on it. Mandarin's covered in some fruit. pop some beans and peas in this little trough just in case we need some food see how they go in there nice you get some nice winter sun little orange trees got a few oranges on it and some more in flower more flowers this little patch was seriously sad covered in weeds and that daisy had just gone ballistic um, my poor garden hadn't been touched for the last year or so between ill parents and breast cancer it just all got neglected we love watching the birds they come into our little bird bath Actually, we just use it as a feeder Started to espalier a cherry tree, so that's starting to yeah, get a little bit of life back in it. Now there's some moisture in the ground. Get all the little birds, you might be able to hear them now, in amongst the hedge, Forsythia, and there's some lilac growing there as well. Looks like it's budding up. Ready to flower, everything's sort of a bit out of sea. Got two olive trees. They're growing well, they've only been in for a couple of years. I have this little patch to put my blueberries in. A couple of self <laughs> self sown tomatoes also growing in there. Um, just to give the blueberries a bit of protection from the frost. They had been out in a lot of sun and didn't really like it. Second little olive trees growing well. Luckily I've got some gorgeous roses from next door neighbours. My boy's shed. Um, during the drought we lost a few trees here. Um, birch, a couple of big camellias. When we moved in here about four years ago we had a big cubby house here. So we've just been reclaiming that, put in little retaining walls. Um, created this pathway and built some retaining walls going down. Go around the back of the shed. Hmm. Something's happening with the worm farms today, I'm not sure what. Anyway, the worm farms are getting some work. We just dug out a birch that died during the drought. I was hoping it might come back, but there's been no sign of life in it still. And it was very wobbly, so we decided to take it out. This is a garden I started to, area I started to work on prior to my breast cancer diagnosis. Um, it was full of, and still has a lot of agapanthus and lots and lots of privet. This was a little rose my mother had given me when I first moved into my house. Um, and she passed just recently, so that's a really nice thing to have in memory of her. Um, the person who owned her house was a stonemason once upon a time. So I keep finding bits of stone around the place. Create little pathways and steps, stepping stones with it. Um, we were hoping to espalier a couple of fig trees just here at the back of the shed. Not sure who'll get the fruit, the possums or us. Um, my boy has two 
beehives in the yard. These ones are the nice bees, the other ones get a bit aggro occasionally. And they're busy throwing out all the drones at the moment. So it's a bit of carnage going on up the back there. This area is still covered in weeds. Um, compost bin, we've had some work happening on those in the last few days. Um, when we moved in we had a large hedge across here and I had put in a lot of shade loving plants. The hedge got taken down so we've planted a few little pines ourselves and I lost all the plants that were in this garden. We've put in what we call the folly. We used to have a little garden shed here. We didn't need it, but as it had a nice cement base, created this folly. It's a really nice place to come and sit. Um, here's some of the stone I found. Just built some little steps. Um, so that's the top part of my garden. Um, one very sad little fairy magnolia. I hope for that that will come back a bit. Bottle brush seemed to have liked the drought conditions. It's actually had flowers on it. This area has been a bit taken over. I didn't realise what I was planting at one stage. Um, so I've got red hot pokers coming up all around the place. And this is the area where the cubby house was that we took out about two years ago. So it's sort of very neglected. Oh, I think this is a nice little pathway up and down across an area we call the moat. And I have my little herb garden. At the moment it's got a few um, strawberries that have decided to fruit at the moment. Um, again, it's quite sad. It's got a lot of rocket growing in it. A bit of parsley, sage, unwanted mint, a few bits of thyme, rosemary. And it looks like we've just had <laughs> success in getting the stump out from this apple tree. So yeah, that's my garden. <laughs>